The city of London continues to rise, but in the foreseeable future, what new towers might we expect? Over the next decade, the UK's capital will spend over $30 billion constructing dozens of new skyscrapers. Let's take a peek and see what's coming. 18 Blackfriars Wilkinson Ayer's design will look like a sequence of stacked rectangular blocks, each oriented at a slightly different angle. The project includes 288 residences, a 548-room hotel, a concert venue, stores, and offices in a 53-story building. The residential tower was created to be a one-of-a-kind new structure on the London skyline that fits seamlessly into the growing cluster of skyscrapers. A basic rectilinear floor plate has been sculpted to seem like a sequence of separated stacked blocks, resulting in a purposefully thin shape. Each block's glass facades are then oriented at subtly varying angles to capture the light in a diverse way and break down the tower's shape. All residential apartments have generous winter gardens, with planted balconies at the color levels between each expressive block. The tower's top is completed with light glass overruns that form a distinct silhouette against the sky. 100 Leadenhall Street Prepare yourself for 100 Leadenhall Street. The diamond is the name given to this new skyscraper in London, built by SOM. The 246-meter tower will have shops, office space, and a viewing gallery with 1,900 square meters of public area, with excellent views of London. Construction is scheduled to begin in 2023 and last for four years. The structure will have a tapering shape to avoid obstructing views of St. Paul's Cathedral from Fleet Street and other important London vistas. The building's outside face will have a diamond glazing pattern, while limestone slopes at the base will visually tie the new tower to the neighboring stone structures. At ground level, additional shop spaces will be created, as well as new pedestrian pathways connecting Leadenhall Street to St. Mary Axe and Bury Street. The design also includes three new public spaces, an open courtyard at the south entrance, new open space at the north entrance that connects to the wider public realm network, and the restoration of the cemetery to the east of the neighboring Grade 1 listed St. Andrew's Undershaft, which also provides the third new public area in the form of an additional 10,000 square feet of open space. A double-height thorough lobby was created, providing access from both the north and south entrances in addition to the new public pathways through the site. At level 55, a separate entrance allows direct access to a free viewing gallery with 360-degree views and a spectacular three-story view of the south, east, and west. 8 Bishopsgate Eight Bishop's Gate Tower is a new 50-story mixed-use development that will feature 560,000 square feet of office, retail, and public space. Mitsubishi Estate London is investing $396 million in the construction of the new 221.3-meter skyscraper. The construction began in March 2019 and is anticipated to be finished by the end of 2022. The tower will be split into stacked blocks that represent the urban character of the area. As it reaches its maximum height, the blocks gradually thin and shrink in size, making the building appear slim. Residents will be able to build terraces and outside spaces thanks to the design. A pavilion is located at the top of the tower, while retail spaces are located at the ground floor. The unique double-skinned facade with an automatic interstitial blind allows for beautiful vistas and enough natural light, while limiting solar gain and lowering glare. One Undershaft Eric Perry Architects designed One Undershaft, often referred to as Trellis Tower, with WSP as the structural engineer. It will be placed in the heart of London City. The skyscraper, which will have 73 stories and a total height of 304.94 meters, will loom over its neighbors, the Leadenhall structure and the Gherkin, but will be somewhat shorter than the Shard, which is currently the highest building in Western Europe. The tower's rigidity is due to its unique appearance. Additional strength is provided by a weathered steel bracing on the outside. Horizontal shades of very durable white vitreous enamel metal protect the glass facade and give the tower a distinctive white tone that contrasts with the surrounding building's green glazing. The building will be able to claim the highest occupied floor. A total of 90,000 square meters of office space will be available, catering to 10,000 employees. At the top of the structure, which will also house the city's tallest restaurant, there will be a free public viewing gallery. There are also continuing discussions with the Museum of London concerning the inclusion of a dedicated display area. A new public plaza will be built at the base of the tower, with the public able to wander beneath the skyscraper and into the main office lobby above. Before construction on the new tower can begin, the current Aviva Tower will be destroyed. The Tulip The Tulip by Foster & Partners would be a striking addition to the London skyline, rising 1,001 feet above the ground. 
It is intended to serve as a major cultural hub for the city, with educational activities provided by the building's owners, the J. Safra Group. Despite the proposals being authorized by the City of London in April 2019, Mayor Sadiq Khan dismissed the project proposal in 2019, stating that, quote, the public advantages of the concept were limited. The tulip sits across the street from the Gherkin Tower, also known as 30 St. Mary Axe, which was completed in 2004 and received the sterling prize for greatest UK building that same year. A long stem capped with a glass blossom would hold viewing galleries, a bar, and restaurants with 360-degree views of the city. Visitors will be able to ride in observation pods at the top of the tower and experience interior slides. There will also be educational opportunities for local students, with 20,000 free trips given each year. Visitors will be drawn to the area by a small park in a two-story pavilion that will house a public rooftop garden. The Tulip aims to expand the site's public space by providing the city with a genuine, unique observation platform. The tower's shape is intended to establish a visual connection with the Gherkin. Spire London Spire London will be a 67-story skyscraper with 861 suites, one, two, and three-bedroom apartments and penthouses on West India Quay in London's Canary Wharf, situated in landscaped open space. It is the highest residential skyscraper in Western Europe, at 771 feet above ground and a new hallmark in the blue sky. It was designed by HOK architects Larry Malchik and Christopher Colosimo, with interiors by Urgent Design's Nicola Fontanella. Greenland Group, one of China's major residential developers, is leading the project. If Amazon's experiments go as planned, residents of the Spire won't have to leave home to shop since drone deliveries will be sent to their private winter garden balconies. The design, which features panoramic views of London, pays homage to the site's naval heritage, as well as the orchid, a flower that has been growing in China for over 3,000 years. The Spire is made up of three petals that create faceted glass balconies with pro and bow shapes. The tower's slanted top provides for exterior terraces in the premier and penthouse units, while louvers throughout the structure allow for natural ventilation. The skyscraper will also have a spa, a swimming pool, sitting places, and a jacuzzi among other facilities. A gymnasium and a workout studio with changing rooms are also available. The club features a cocktail bar, lounge seating, and showcase wine displays, while the cinema has automatic shades and provides a space for entertainment. That's all for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more super rich daily content, click on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.